guys, how you doing? Today is Monday, June 23rd, and I have postcards! Alright, I have, I picked these up on Saturday in my post box. I got this one from Enid, Oklahoma. Isn't that cool? It's like a vintage postcard. I love it. This is from, I hope I say your name right, Cleota? Cleota. Ostermeyer. I hope I said that right. Um, and she watches my YouTube videos and she says, thank you for making them and have a great summer. Um, this vintage postcard was originally printed in 1942. The images from left to right are the Young Blood Hotel, which is now the Continental Center North, the base building or Bass building. I'm not sure how to say that. Now the Continental S Center South and the Broadway Tower and Enid National Bank, uh, which is now the bike shop. How cool is that? Very cool. Then I got this one from Liverpool. This is the Liverpool waterfront in the UK. This is from Susan, and Susan says that she does fabric postcards, um, and she wants to know if I want to do a swap. Yes, I want to do a swap. I just have no idea what a fabric postcard is. So I've sent her, I've Susan, I've sent you a postcard, and I discussed that. Um, on there. So you'll be get I just sent your postcards this morning. So Monday, June 23rd. So let's see how long it takes to get back to you. Um, this one from my friend Teresa in Michigan. Thank you, Teresa. Um, she says she's from Southeast Mich Michigan, which is her, um, her favorite place to be. But she said the northern part of the state is beautiful. Um, it says clockwise from left corner is Michigan state flag which is that right there. Um, sorry, they stamped right on it. Circle tour sign. Oh, the circle tour sign. It's fall in Metro Detroit. Um, the Uniroyal Giant Tire in Metro Detroit. And La Grande Etats in Grand Rapids. Where? I don't know. <laughs> uh, point Betsy Lighthouse. Well, I know which one that is. It's the lighthouse. There we go. Oh, we're going clockwise. Okay, sorry. So that was that other thing. The La Grande Vitesse in Grand Rapids. And then we're at the Renaissance Center down here, I believe, um, in Detroit. The Mackinac Bridge. Very cool. You know what? That looks like the bridge that we have in, in Dartmouth, in uh, Dartmouth, Halifax. And then the Capitol building in Lansing. Very cool. Lansing? Lansing. There's a stamp over the lettering and I can't see it. Very cool. Thank you, Teresa. And then this one here is from Vancouver. And this is from Helen Baker, who's in Richmond, BC. And she wrote, she got a lot on there. Um, and she says she sells her crafts and she knits and she makes cards and she's in beautiful British Columbia. I was there back in 86. We went for Expo 86 and we stayed right over here. There was a hotel. God, I won't know the name of it. I would have been 15. Um, but we stayed there and there's a picture of me standing right here where the cruise ships come in with a big old scab on my chin because when we got to the hotel, I dove into the pool. It was the shallow end and I'm not good at math. So I couldn't convert feet to meters and I dove in. And as soon as I dove in, mom and Annette screamed. And when they screamed, I jumped and I just tilted my head at the last second and whacked my chin on the bottom of the pool. Thank God they yelled. Could have been a very different trip. Um, Helen understands island life because she's lived in the Cayman Islands and the Maldives. I think that's how you say that. Very cool. So she gets where I'm coming from. Yeah. <laughs> Island life. Not always an easy place to live. So very cool. These are going into my basket and I have entered your addresses if they were on the backs here and I have entered them into my address book. Bam. Um, so I've sent off your postcards today. So hopefully you will get those very soon. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is so cool. And I just bought some um, stamps today. So I got some for the UK and I got some for um, Canada and the US. Um, what else has been going on here? I'm 
still working. I worked this weekend on um, my craft stuff. And Scott's going to take today off. He's hoping to get off this afternoon. We're going to go to town and pick out the girls' grading presents, which I kind of already picked out with them on the weekend, but they still want it to be... They didn't want me to buy them in front of them. It's just boogie boards. We're, getting, we're not buying live animals <laughs> this year for grading. Um, so yeah, we're going to go pick those out. We have some errands to run in town. Uh, so we're going to go do that. Um, and what else? Yeah, the kids are done school on Friday. I was, I really thought they were off. I thought they were done. And last night we were, Scott was like, okay, Kerrigan, you got to get your shower. Bryn was making her lunch. I'm like, what are, what are you guys doing? Like, I really forgot that we had to continue on with this week. I thought they were done school. I'm just so done with the whole school thing. I'm sure they are too. Um, Kerrigan made a good with her camping trip. She came home. She was a little punchy. She was a little on edge. Um, kind of tired. She wasn't too burnt. Um, so that was good. She actually used her sunscreen, but they were just done. She got off the boat and came over and gave me a great big hug and said she couldn't wait to get in her own bed and have air conditioning in her room. So, um, but I think overall she had, she had a good time. She's not a camping person. We're not really camping people. Um, Annette and them love to camp. We just, we never went camping, um, with the kids. Uh, we slept in Annette's trailer one time when we went to Antigonish, uh, years ago. The kids were little and we were actually parked in her sister-in-law's driveway. So <laughs> it's not technically camping. Um, but those guys had trailers and tents and the whole thing and would go camping with, um, with the kids. We, um, yeah, no. And we camped as, as kids. We had a trailer. We went, like, all the time in the summer. Um, Dad would come home from work. Mom would have the trailer all packed, and we'd, we'd go for the weekend. Um, and it was fun. Like, a lot of our memories are from camping and, and all that. And it's great when you're a kid, when you don't care if you shower or shave your legs. <laughs> but as a grown person not as enjoyable. Um, and Annette and I slept out in her sister-in-law's backyard last year. And I swear to God, I had a tree root in my spleen. Like it was so uncomfortable. We laughed ourselves to sleep, but we swore never again. So I can understand that my kids aren't really campers. Um, and Scott as a kid, I think roughing it for him and his family was a hotel without a pool <laughs> so I don't think they ever went camping he's not an outdoor guy like he's the bugs he gets burnt and he doesn't like being hot so he's not he's not really a camper either so um anyway but she had a good time Bryn had a great birthday um what did we do on the weekend we didn't do too much we went to the kids and I went to town and wandered around Scott had to work um, he went into work for a little bit yesterday and then we went to the movie, uh, 22 jump street. Um, it was, it was funny. It's just kind of just, you know, whatever. It's a movie you don't really have to think too much about. Um, but it was something to do a couple weeks ago. We went to the, um, the edge of tomorrow, the Tom Cruise movie. I liked it and that didn't like it cause they ended up seeing it in 3d and she's got like prescript, um, progressive lenses. So she's, she's like the stuff that was in 3d coming at her, she could see, but everything else in the background was blurry. Um, so yeah, so she didn't care for it too much. It, it was okay. It was good. It was popcorn in the dark, which is really all I look for in a movie is just to go sit in the dark and eat popcorn. And sometimes I sleep. So, um, and what else do we, oh, last night we watched Dallas Buyers Club with Matthew McConaughey. My God, he was thin in that movie. Uh, I watched a thing on, um, the inside the actor's studio. He said he lost four, uh, 47 pounds for that movie. Wow. He was, oh my God. So, um, he was really good in the role. He did a great job. Um, but, but yeah, oh my God, he was oh, so thin. Um, and then Saturday night we watched, uh, the wolf on wall street, not for kids. Uh, definitely not for kids. Um, and that was three hours long. So I was exhausted by the time that was over. Um, and then last night, oh my God, I was on my iPad. We watched the movie and then if I'm up past a certain time, then I can't get to sleep. Um, so I missed my window of sleeping. Then I was on my iPad till one o'clock. Um, and then just looking at 
YouTube videos. I'm, I'm watching the file effects things, and I have done some things to my file effects. Okay, let me go show. I'll show you. Hang on. Okay, here's my file effects. You guys have seen it before. I got it for five dollars secondhand, so it's beat up, it's creased, it's whatever. I don't care. It's five bucks. Um, so I got a little bamboo pen the other day when I went out to pick up Kerrigan. It's just a little, little clicky pen. And then I just made, this is a note of stuff I have to do. Of course, I haven't done any of it. Okay. I just took scrapbook paper and this is scrapbook paper that Phyllis gave me when she was here last year. And I just cut it up and then, um, just punched the holes in it. So this is, and then laminated it. So this is a little, um, this is paradise kind of thing. And then it flips and I put stickers, which she had given me and it fell off the desk here. Hang on. It was this set. It's Paradise Beach and it's Echo, Echo Park Paper Company. And these were the element stickers, PB314. And I used pretty much all of them to put in this book. Um, so yeah, isn't that cute? So it says, this is Paradise. And then you flip it open and I got this one from my, um, what's it called? You know, the, the, oh my God, what's it called? The, the scrapbook thing where you get all the little pieces. Project life. There we go. So this one says living life one day at a time. And then on the other side, it says every day, every day, every day. So then I, what I did was I took some of the little pieces of paper that were on the thing and I just laminated those are little flippy things there was um a thing of these tabs that was going down the side of not the sticker sheet but at the side of the paper so i cut out all the tabs and i just glued them to the piece of um paper and then stuck them on and then i have see i have glasses i have another one of these things that says remember remember um then i took some more of these little things i took some bigger ones and then poke holes and then split them like you just do the little cut up against the hole and made little bookmark um, markery things. Some people like decorate their planners and everything. I'm lucky if I remember to write something in the planner. So I'm just new at using a planner like this. So I'm just trying. This is Surf Sand Sun. Another thing and I stuck a wave sticker on it. This one says happy with the hot air balloon. Little surfer girl. Another little thing. So I used all that paper. Isn't that fun? Live in the sunshine. I was going to do, hello summer. I was going to do a Disney theme for my book, but then I had all these stickers and I live on an island. So why not be fun with it? That says beach. This one says chill. It has little ice creams, ice cream cones. And then this one with some kites, the hound's tooth. Another little thing. Some of them, no, it's actually kind of moving good now. Some of them I was a little off with the with the holes. Um, I don't have a six hole punch, so I just like took a page of the file facts and traced it on there. Then I've got this little one with the car and on the back it has a wave with a dolphin. Um, I still have to set this all up. Um, this one says chill out again with the ice cream. I took stickers and put surf, little surf houses there and a roller skate. But I love the, the papers and stuff. It's fun. And then here I have another flippy thing, a little seahorse, some flip flops, and some more stickers, a little surfy thing that says party with beach ball. Then I've got notes. I've got, and this one was on another piece of paper. It says monthly account of household expenses. So I thought that was kind of appropriate to have in here. This one says, this is not the end. This is from the Project Life, but then I glued it to one of those pieces of paper and this says, stay and play. Then I have my business cards in the back and I have a little note thing. So that's my planner so far, but I'm just going to try to set it up a little bit so I can actually keep track of things because I find my head is just constantly boggled down with stuff. And yes, I am on my iPad on a daily basis. I never get off that thing. Um, even at one in the morning. Um, but I don't find I use it as a calendar and it's not like I have an iPhone. My phone is pathetic. I call it my PQRS phone because when I lived in Florida, I had this, um, I had this phone that you had to go PQRS 
and then you miss it and you'd go question mark star PQRS. <laughs> you had to punch every single letter. So my friend Mariel and I, I just kept calling it my PQRS phone. Um, and even now when I text, it's, oh, it's this crap Samsung little phone. Nothing against Samsung. I just hate this phone, this particular phone. They have big, beautiful ones like iPhones and stuff now, and I'm sure they're wonderful, but um, I just don't have access to that. Although a while back, Scott sent me a coupon thing. It was this email that our local sell one phone company thing, um, they had a deal on iPhones, but I didn't really get why he was sending it to me, but he was sending it to me in case I was interested in getting an iPhone. I'm like, oh, okay, I wasn't really paying attention to the email. Of course, I missed out on the deal. So yeah, no iPhone for me. So it's not like I sync up an iPhone with my iPad and my computer and I type in all my notes and I take it with me. I was at the grocery store today. There's like no reception in the grocery store. So you have to go... I was like texting Scott and then I had to like go to the entrance by the window because there was no reception. So it's not like I can take, um, take it with me and you know, I don't know. There's no Wi-Fi, whatever. So I'm thinking for home and to leave on the desk. Um, I think I would use notes and whenever I do grocery lists, I write, I physically write them down. I had that groceries thing on my iPad, but I just found I didn't have everything on that marked off yet. I'm just still not done setting it up. Um, I have right here, the first thing on my list is make a grocery list. Make a, like a master list. And I keep saying I want to do this. And I have it in pages here somewhere. But I started to do um, a major grocery list to hang in the pantry, to hang in the kitchen, so that everyone can and just laminate it and everyone can check off whatever they need. So when I go to get groceries... I don't get home and have three of them yelling at me saying, why didn't you buy Rice Krispies? Why? I needed my body wash. Eh. So I want to have a list so that those guys check off what they need so that when they're at school or work, I can just come by, grab the list that they've checked off, and then I can make my grocery list. So I want to do that. Um, the other thing I'm doing is meal planning. I keep saying I'm going to do meal planning. I have meal planning, again, on my iPad. The only time I use my iPad is when I go to get my hair done, which I desperately needs, and it's going. I'm going next week. But um, I find I'll take it with me, and I play on my iPad while the dye is setting on my hair. And then when I go to leave, I, you know, set up all my appointments, and I'm booked up until October at this point. Um, so I find I use it for that. But the only other thing I have there is ideas that I've had for meals, but I don't follow it. I need something physically in front of me, a big piece of paper, a big calendar, something in front of me. So I'm hoping that's what I'll end up doing with this. Um, what else do I have to do? I want to make some pages. They have um, some pages. It's DIY fish, and they look really cool, and you pull out the month and the week and the day and whatever. I think I just need to set this up that it's going to work for me, I have um, the month on two pages, which works, but then I have the week on two pages, and it ends up being, hang on, let me find one here. Oh, I have a mammogram next week. Oh, what fun. Make sure you do that. Um, so there's the week on two pages, and it's just tiny little spaces. Um... So I'd kind of like a day on a page, I think. Not really sure. So I'm going to just take some graph paper, some loose leaf, and make up my own pages and just try and see what works for me before I go buying more things. Because if you saw my video of when I first set this up, and I ended up spending a lot more money than I needed to on the inserts because this country is expensive. Um, but the fact that the thing was only $5, I figured that was a good way to try a file of facts system. And I will get people writing into me saying, just use your iPad. Uh, like I just said, it doesn't always work for me. I need to physically write things down. I'm old fashioned that way. Um, what else? I've been trying to do, um, oh no, I can't say because it's a gift. So I can't talk about that right now. Um, it was something I was trying to do and there's a coupon on the computer right now which ends in two days and I can't get on the 
computer. Now, maybe that was because it was Saturday and it was busy on the internet. I find the internet's really busy on the weekends. It drives me crazy. Um, so maybe today it'll calm down a little bit. And I can get on there to get done what I'm trying to get done, which I will show you at a later date. Um, what else? The lawn guys showed up at 7.30 Saturday morning. <laughs> My kids were thrilled. Uh, they were tired and did not appreciate the fact that the lawn guys were here. I appreciate the fact the lawn guys were here, so I don't have to do the lawn. Um, I do have a mower, though, and I find our grass has just been growing like crazy. So I think what I might do is halfway in between those guys coming, they come every four weeks. Um, I think what I'll do is I might mow it. I say that now, but when it's 110 degrees out <laughs> in the next few weeks, I'm not going to want to do that. Um, and I'll leave it up to the lawn guys. It's, it's in our rent. It's part of our rent. In Florida, they, they used to come every week, I think. Uh, we had barely, we had like a little postage stamp <laughs> patch of grass in our house in Florida. Um, what else? I have to work on my crafts today. I got to get those done. Oh my God. Once upon a time, duh, I've been waiting for the third season to come out. It's not so much a third season as it is season one of Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. I had no idea. So I, I was like, I just typed in once, once upon a time. And then the other one, the original one popped up. And then the second one popped up, which is, um, the Alice in Wonderland one. And I'm like, that can't be the same thing. And then as soon as the, as the show started, the first episode, it showed the little clock tower in the town of Storybrooke. And I'm like, Oh my God, I've been like sitting here wondering and waiting. So I don't know when it just came on Netflix. I have no idea. Maybe it's been up for a while, but I'm on to episode, I think, four or five already. So I've been watching them while I've been working on my stuff. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, somebody emailed me. Let me see if I can find you right quick. This isn't going to be quick. Oh, God, no. I've got the other thing up right now. Um, one of you emailed me and said you're going on the Allure of the Seas. I believe you're going on the Allure of the Seas. And you were wondering if... Sorry, I don't have your name. And I don't have my iPad. Um, you were wondering if the zip line, the rock wall, the flow rider, if any of that costs extra money. No, that's all part of the ship. You just have to, the only thing you have to do is get bracelets. You have to take your CPAS card. And if you have small kids that are doing it, you have to sign a waiver for them. Um, and then they get a bracelet, uh, and you get a bracelet too. Did I get a bracelet? I only had a bracelet for the flow rider. Um, and that basically you sign the thing saying, if you break your neck, it's not Royal's fault. <laughs> you know, sorry about that. Um, so I had a blue bracelet on there at some point. You just leave that on. And then when you go to ride the flow rider, they know you've signed the waiver because you have your bra bracelet on. Um, and what else? And you'll see in the video that Kerrigan had a yellow bracelet. That's, she's the only one that had that. Um, it was just one of those paper bracelets, but it was because of the the safety thing that I mentioned in my video that they would take her to her muster station if she was involved in any activities, which she wasn't, um, when we went on the boat. Um, but yeah, all that, anything like that on the boat is, um, free. So you can risk your life as many times as you want. The flow rider is fun. Um, the guy that we had, you can see him in the video where the, the 90 year old lady comes across on the zip line and he's like jumping up and down and you can see that he's the one that shoved me out on my um, boogie board thing there when I got up on my knees. He worked with me so much. I said that was my second attempt. He had helped me so many times to get up on that thing on my knees. That was just my second ride that actually um, worked. Um, his name is Alistair, I believe, and he's from Scotland, I think. Amazing. He's so patient with everybody. He's such a cool guy. Um, so that's Alistair. So try to get him if you can. Um, but what else? Yeah, I got to, you know what I have to do? I need to print photos in Canada. I don't know. I'm sure I've told you before to print one photo, like a four by six picture here is, uh, a dollar 75, I think. So usually what I'll do is I'll take a disc or something. Do I have any discs? Um, ow, just totally hurt myself. Um, do I have a disc? Oh, those are DVDs. I don't have any CDs. I usually put some photo, 
Ow, my God, I keep beating myself up. Um, I usually put photos on a disc and print them at Costco and I'm up because they're like nine cents um, a picture. So I have to do that so that I can do some scrapbooking this summer, which I have not done. And I don't know when I'm going to because the cruise season here goes from about April to October, November. Um, it's usually about the end of October. And that's when it's going to be busy and that's when my crafts are going to be selling. So I may be doing scrapbooking. No, I'll probably be making more crafts so that I'm ready for the April beginning of April season. Um, anyway, my crafts are doing really good. I'm quite proud of that. Um, but it's a lot of work, a lot of cutting, a lot of gluing. And I had to oil my, um, <laughs> big paper tripper guillotine yesterday cause it was squeaking and my family was complaining. So I took it outside in the grass and I was WD forming the heck of heck out of it. So now there's like little ants down in the grass today thinking they have a slip and slide. Okay, I gotta go. I got stuff to do. But um, yes, thank you for the postcards. I just wanted to point those out that I got my, uh, postcards from you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, and I sent those out today, so hopefully they will get to you soon. I hope everyone's doing good. I guess some of you may still have kids in school if you're in Canada. States, I think you're all pretty much out. I think. Or you finish up this week. Um, and then summer starts. And then the countdown of when they actually go back to school begins. <laughs> All right. I got to go do some stuff. Okay. I'll talk to you later. See ya.